Hi there, you're eight. This is Mr. Connolly, and this is our final third lesson on algebra, and it's going to be on expanding double brackets. So on the next slide, we're going to do a starter, and then we're going to work through some questions on expanding double brackets. Okay, thank you. Okay, the first question: four times x plus two minus two times x plus five. So we need to multiply each term by the number outside. So first of all, we need to do four times x, which is four x. 4 times 12, 3, which is 12, and then we're doing negative 2 times x, which is negative 2x, and negative 2 times 5, which is negative 10. Then we need to collect our like terms, so 4x take 2x will give us 2x, and 12 take 10 will give us 2. Okay, next question. Expand and simplify the following. Similar to the question before, we're multiplying by a variable here, this time x on the first bracket. All right, so we need to expand the single brackets. So x times x is x squared. x times plus 4 is plus 4x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. OK, then we collect our like terms, which is just those two x terms in the middle. So we get x squared plus 1x plus 6. All right, and then to finish off with, I like to have a go at those questions, which are very similar to those first two questions. Okay. All right, the answer for these, we've got 3x plus 21. Okay, because you've got the 15, three, 5 times 3 is 15, and then negative 2 times negative 3 is 6, so 15 add 6 is 21. This one you have 9x take 24. C is negative 2x negative 14. D is 5x take 3. E is x squared plus 5x plus 10. F is x squared minus 5x minus 10. G is x squared plus 4x minus 14. And finally, H is x squared minus 7x plus 4. Okay, hopefully you did all right on those questions there. Okay, we're going to go on to the main part of the lesson now, which is on expanding brackets. Okay, to expand double brackets, we must multiply each term in the first bracket by each term in the second bracket. So, with example 1. We're going to multiply x plus 3 by x plus 4. We need to multiply the first term by the second bracket. So we're going to multiply everything in that second bracket, x plus 4, by x. So x times x and x times 4. Okay, then we're going to do the same with the second bracket. Okay, and just look, you will now look like those questions in the starter. Okay, so x times x is x squared, x times 4 is plus 4x. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 4 is 12. And what we get left with is x squared plus 7x plus 12. In example 2, we've got a negative this time in our first bracket, x take 2. OK, so we're going to multiply everything in the second bracket, x plus 5, by x. And we're going to multiply everything in the second bracket by minus 2. So x times x is x squared x times 5 is 5x, minus 2 times x is minus 2x, and minus 2 times plus 5 is negative 10. Okay, so we're going to collect those two like terms in the middle. So we have x squared at the beginning, 5x take 2x, which is 3x, and negative 10 on the end. Okay, there are different ways you can do this and set your working out. Some teachers like to use the FOIL method or a grid method, okay? And your teacher, when you do this next year, will no doubt show you all the different ways you can do it and you can find a method that suits you. But in this video, we're just going to follow this method here. Okay, so there's a set of questions for you to do here. Okay, so question one is just multiplying out those pairs of brackets. And question two is uh, multiplying each of those Think of them as brackets, so you would do x plus 7 times x plus 5, x plus 7 times x minus 3, x plus 7 times x plus 6. So that will give you a lot of good practice on multiplying out double brackets. Okay, so if you want to pause the video and have a go at those questions and we'll go through the answers, or you can have a look at the first few answers and then have a go at a few. Okay, so if you want to pause the video now and have a go at questions 1 and question 2. Okay, the answer to question 1a is x squared plus 5x plus 4. B is x squared plus 9x plus 18, x squared plus 5x minus 14, x squared minus 5x minus 6, and x squared minus 5x minus 24. The answer to question F is x squared minus 7x minus 18, 
g is x squared minus 5x plus 6. So we've got a negative times a negative there, giving us a positive answer in the end. And then x squared minus 5x minus 15. x squared minus 2x minus 24. x squared plus 2x minus 24, sorry. And x squared minus 16x plus 63. Okay. Now on to question two. I'm going to fill these in very quickly. Okay, there's your first set of answers there. And then the next row. Third row, obviously you can, uh, the middle term on that x minus five, x plus five disappears because you have a minus five x and a plus five x, so they cancel each other out. Next one. Okay, then we've got the next row. And finally, and there we have that again where the minus 6x and the plus 6x cancel each other out. So you just have an x squared minus 36. Okay, so that's questions one and two. We're going to move on slides now to the next few questions. Okay, so the difference with this example is that I now have a number, a coefficient in front of the x. So I have 3x minus 1 and x minus 3. So it just makes our multiplying a little bit uh, trickier. Okay, but not too much. Okay, so we're doing 3x times x minus 3. Okay, and then we're doing negative 1 times x minus 3. So we've got 3x squared minus 9x minus x plus 3 there. Watch out for that negative times a negative. We're going to collect the two terms in the middle here. 3x squared minus 10x plus 3. And then here... We've got a perfect square here, so we've got a repeated bracket. So we could write this out like this, 4x minus 7 times 4x minus 7, anything times by itself squared. And so we're going to do 4x times 4x minus 7, and then we're going to do minus 7 times 4x minus 7, which is going to give me 16x squared minus 28x minus 28x plus 49. OK, so I'm going to have 16 x squared. I've got minus 56 x's plus 49. OK, next three questions. So in question three, you'll have a chance to practice the examples we just did there. OK, question four, I just want you to spot the mistakes uh, in those. There's a mistake in each one. And question five, the following square is made up of rectangles and a compound shape. Write a simplified expression for each area making up the square. I'll give you some time to do that if you pause the video now. OK, question three is 3x squared. We've got minus 2x plus 18x. So that gives you plus 16x. And then minus 2 times 6 gives you minus 12. B is 8x squared plus 12x minus uh, plus 6x minus 20x, which gives you minus 14x. And then minus 15. And then C, 6x squared plus 4x minus 3x, which gives you plus x, and then minus 1 times 2, which gives you minus 2. And this is 25x squared minus 30x plus 9. Okay, question 4. Find and correct the mistakes below. Okay, so in the question A, you should have spotted that 2x times 2x should give you 4x squared, not 2x squared. Okay, in question B, okay, positive 4 multiplied by negative 1 should give you negative 4, not positive 4. In C, okay, your 4x plus 4x should give you 8x, not 6x. And then in D, okay, 2x times 3x is 6x squared, not 5x squared. You'd be surprised how many people make that mistake quite regularly. OK, question five. The following square is made up of rectangles and a compound shape. Write a simple expression for area making up the square. OK, so the first one, A, is this one here. So we're doing 6x plus 1 times x plus 2. All right. If you haven't already done this question, you can pause the video now and have a go at this area. OK, and that will become 6x squared plus 13x plus 2. B is this area here. Now, we know that the height is 2x plus 2 and then we know that the, the width along the bottom you can see at the bottom of d there is 3x plus 1 
So when we multiply this out, we get 6x squared plus 8x plus 2. The area of C is x plus 1 wide, and then the height is 5x plus 3. Now, the reason I know that is that if I add up all the lengths on the, the left, x plus 2, 2x plus 2, 3x plus 1, I get 6x plus 5. And from 6x plus 5, I need to subtract that length underneath C, x plus 2. And that's what gives me 5x plus 3. So 6x take away 1x gives me 5x. 5 take 2 gives me 3. So I know that the height of C, that longer length, is 5x plus 3. Okay, if I multiply that out, I get 5x squared plus 8x plus 3. For D, it's just 3x plus, uh, should be 3x plus 1 all squared, which would give you 9x plus 6x plus 1. Okay, so that, that's been written down. The question is wrong, but the answer is correct. And then E is 5x plus 3, which is the height of B and D together, times 3x. OK, and that little area there is x plus 1 times x plus 2. OK, so altogether you get 16x squared plus 12x plus 2. OK, got quite tricky in the end there, but hopefully you did all right with those. All right. OK, so that's our last lesson there on multiplying brackets. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the lessons we've done on algebra. And I look forward to seeing you back in school soon. OK, bye.